Hey everybody, welcome back to No Jumper. It's Adam22 here with your man AD. Let's get right into these stories. So first things first, following the death of hip hop legend DMX, former Bad Boy Records rapper Black Rob wanted to give condolences and share a now viral video from his hospital bed, sparking concern amongst his fans and peers alike on social media. Although he has since been released from the hospital, Black Rob is still very much suffering from severe health issues. In a second video shared, Rob revealed that he is in a dire situation and essentially homeless. He doesn't give any details about his current health status, but he appears to be very thin and frail after suffering multiple strokes. Yo, hold up. Oh, man. I mean, I've been dealing with this man for five years. Four strokes. Man, man, I don't know what to tell you, man. This is crazy. This is hard, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't got no house to live in except probably, man, a, a apartment, man, for me and my me and my man be trying to get together, man. I'm telling you, man, this shit is strange. It's, it's hard, man. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know what the people are going to do, what the people are going to say. But my tell my, my, man, I, I need some, I need some rest, man. Really, man, I need some rest, man. My side is killing me. I don't want to talk about it no more, man. On Instagram, a friend and fellow former bad boy rapper Mark Curry has provided more updates on Rob's situation, expressing his gratitude for the outpouring of support, explaining that Rob has been undergoing dialysis, a treatment typically used with kidney failure. Mark also revealed that Diddy, who's been under heavy scrutiny for his perceived inaction to help Black Rob, has been reaching out in an attempt to help his former bad boy artist. Puffy, we need your help and you are reaching out. You're trying to help. We're not trying to say he's not. He's really trying to help. Producer Mike Zombie set up a GoFundMe page to raise funds to help Rob in his time of need, which has collected more than $25,000 towards its $50,000 goal. Former D12 rapper and Eminem collaborator Mr. Porter is among the generous donors contributing $1,000 to the cause. Okay, this is kind of an interesting question. It's like, why does Puffy get charged with basically having to take care of every artist he ever helped out over the years like black rob like i was a huge fan back in the day obviously had some classic records and this is not disrespectful to him at all but i just don't really understand why the the idea is like immediately we got to put this on puffy like somehow puffy is so rich that anybody who ever worked with him or for him he's supposed to just swoop in and save them as soon as they get into a bad situation i think it's dope that he is but I also just really question the motives when you see people just sort of acting like this is Puffy's responsibility. Yeah, man, you know, a lot of artists, man, they make bad fucking decisions, and you know what I mean? And probably was signed a bad boy 15, 20 years ago and shit. Who knows what, what he's been through. It's um, unfortunate, though, you know what I'm saying, that uh that he's going through this tough time right now, but it ain't Puff uh, fault or he shouldn't be responsible. And it's dope that he is reaching out because a lot of other people wouldn't, you know what I mean? Yeah. No, I just put myself in the shoes and I'm like, you know, if there was like some guy who worked in my bike shop 10, 20 years ago, am I supposed to like get involved at some point if we haven't talked in all these years? Like obviously Puffy has a million different things going on. He's had literally probably hundreds of artists that he's worked with closely since Black Rob. So I don't know. I just think that people on Twitter are kind of bugging about that. But I do want to say that, you know, I wish the best for, for Rob and everything that he's going through. I think when this video first came out, people were acting like he was like all fucked up on drugs. I don't know that that's necessarily the case. They're talking about he had all these strokes and dialysis and everything like that. I mean, just either way, immediately after the DMX thing, it seems even more important that, you know, we, we just care and, and raise awareness about the the rappers that we care about from the 90s and whatnot yeah and at least man you know people are supporting him and they're not waiting until he's gone to sit there and show support and show that fake ass love so that's good that they donate in um hopefully he gets the money in his hands and hopefully he does better um god bless him thanks Next story. According to the Richland County Sheriff's Department, a white active duty soldier who was seen in a viral video berating and shoving a black man in South Carolina neighborhood has been charged with third degree assault and battery. The first time I saw the video, it was terrible. Richland County Sheriff Leon Lott said at a press conference, it was unnecessary, it was a bad video. Young man was a victim, the individual that was arrested was an aggressor, and he's been dealt with accordingly. In the viral video posted to Twitter, Jonathan Pentland, the identified Fort Jackson soldier, is seen confronting a black man walking down the sidewalk and yelling at him 
him to leave the neighborhood known as the summit in Columbia, South Carolina. You can see him shove the man and yells and curses at him. You better start walking right now. You're in the wrong neighborhood, motherfucker. Get out. Jonathan Penland was arrested and charged with third degree assault and battery for allegedly slapping the man's phone out of his hand and an incident not captured on video but was told to authorities by witnesses. That charge carries a maximum penalty of $500 fine or 30 days in jail. According to the officials, Penland was later released, but not before Black Lives Matter protesters rallied outside his home, forcing his family to move to a safe house. The protests at the Pentland home have become violent. The family was removed after it was vandalized. They were moved to another location and a neighborhood is being closed off except to residents. Please stay out of the area. Fort Jackson Commander Bridge Jen Milford Beagle Jr. issued a statement saying military leaders do not condone the behavior displayed in the video. I remain deeply concerned for the members of our Army family, the young man and his family, and the tension and activities like this amplify over time. A family member of the victim said he is shaken up but behave appropriately in the video. She also said she was grateful for peaceful protests because incidents like this have to be stopped locally and nationally. So what the hell was this steroid head army jar head dickhead looking ass motherfucker thinking by harassing this kid like i really i wish i could know like was that dude doing anything that sort of made this guy have a reason for going at him because it just seemed so extra and so crazy to to do that to a guy who's just walking down the street yeah man i watched that video i wanted to punch the fuck out of that bald pasty head nigga um yeah, man, it, it, and it's crazy, too, because the guy's literally just like, hey, man, like, I live around this neighborhood. I'm just walking. Mm. And he's like, well, this is a tight-knit community. And I'm like, man, I'm glad everybody protesting in front of his house. It's the backyard boogie right now. <laughs> and his fucking pasty hair wife also who was talking shit ain't nowhere to be found. Fucking bitch. Right, and they said that the dude actually really did live, like, a couple blocks away. Like, it's totally normal for him to be walking around that area. And, I mean, I, I am not capable of saying for sure I'm somebody who has um, observed what happens to people's bodies when they are on steroids. And from my perspective, allegedly, bald white guy is yoked out. So I, I, I very much saw that video and I was like, Jesus Christ, this guy got to tone down the testosterone and stop flipping out on his neighbors. Pasty, Beagle, Milanakis, steroid, lean juice, McNiven, whatever. Why you got to bring Andy Milanakis into this? No, no, not Andy. Their bodies Andy, don't really look Andy, that similar. <laughs> Andy is a goat. Okay. Right. And he, he, if, if he had a black neighbor, he would hang out and smoke a blunt with him. He would not. What's up with the sheriff's him. name? Is McBeagle? <laughs> I know McBeagle. For some reason, that coming out of your mouth made me laugh. <laughs> Wait, shout out to that kid because I mean, in all of these viral videos, though, I mean, you you consistently see very bad things happening to these guys. So I'm just glad that the the worst thing that happened out of this was that he got yelled at, and then this fucking dumbass jarhead lost his job. He needs to uh, get off the roids. Bang bang. YouTube fans, like, comment, subscribe, and then head on over to TikTok and like No Jumper on there too. Appreciate y'all.